and good morning welcome back to the channel guys if you can see that poster behind me you might guess where I am today Blackpool it's actually freezing it's blowing an absolute gale outside um, most things are closed at this time of the year naturally because it's winter have a look at this shut family amusements real gelato artisan ice cream freshly made donuts this is something palace <laughs> yeah like I said it's extremely windy today I'm using the external mic so I'm just hoping and hoping that the audio comes out around right this so here we are at glorious Blackpool There's the ocean, my god that looks dirty. And there's Central Pier. And there is Blackpool's very own Eiffel Tower. <laughs> it's not. My ears feel like they're blocked because it's so windy. It's actually taken about an hour and a half to get here. But yeah, we're gonna have a good look around. See what's open, what's not. It's looking like most of it is closed those bendy paddles in the air there so the wind's got them blown over I did bring the drone but uh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to fly that here I wanted to fly around the tower but it's way too windy there's Pi Master right let's get to the tower and see what we can see look at these things <laughs> I don't know what they're meant to signify. But you can see it blowing around in the wind. And the seagulls. You can see everything's shut, unfortunately. Absolute crying shame. But then again, it's way out of season. There's the ocean. I won't be going down onto the beach. That's way too windy. There's a few people playing around on it, as you'd expect. But um, here we can't get on Central Pier either, unfortunately. Maybe I should come back in season. God, it's cold. Man, it's freezing. It's the sea breeze. It's good for your skin, though. Look at mine. Good, huh? Right, we're going towards the tower. I'm gonna have a look up there. I've absolutely no idea what these are. Um, I don't know. People keep saying we've been invaded. They might be right. <laughs> I'm directly behind the Blackpool Tower. We're gonna venture further on down there. These windbreakers are doing a good job of keeping the wind away. <laughs> they really are. I just wish they stretched all the way down the beach. Yeah, I don't know what these are. Awesome. They're on platform, so I don't know what they're going to do. Hey, what are these, mate? What are they? They are um, sea creatures. Sea creatures? Yeah. They're in the wrong place, behind me! <laughs> it's called Odyssey. And it's, uh, it's lighting and video and sound and... Oh, right! ...interaction and all that kind of stuff. Are they going to move around or are they going to stay here? Uh, well, they're going to be here until after the half term, every yeah. half term. Yeah. They're going back into the depot and then they're coming back out again. And I think they're going down there somewhere for, next, for this next season. Oh, brilliant! They look pretty awesome. Hey, cheers for the info. And over there in the distance, for Star Wars fans, there's some Jawas here. <laughs> well, certainly their vehicle. <laughs> right, now I know what they are. They're sea creatures. God, the sun's blinding. And, uh, how good do they? How good do they look? I don't know, I thought he was talking to me. He's not, he's on the radio. Yeah, the sea creatures are going to be all lit up. They're going to be interactive. Um, I don't know whether you can ask them questions or what, I don't know. But, yeah, the public will love them when they're up and running fully. And they're going to be further down 
that away for when the season starts. Now, just over the road is a Weatherspoons, <laughs> the Albert and the Lion. So we're going to pop in. I could murder a drink. Then we're going to have a nice look at the tower. I was waiting for a tram then, but there isn't one coming. I will get a tram on camera. Okay, to Wetter Spoons, we go! The dungeon over there. One exciting ride. Okay. We're in Wetter Spoons. Chin chin. <laughs> Just when even it's freezing cold, half a pint of cold cider. There you go. Look at it. Lovely. Nice to be out of the window, isn't it? Yeah. Here we go, in all its glory. Gorgeous building. Absolutely gorgeous building. And right in the smack in the centre is the tower itself. Silhouetted against a beautiful blue sky. Even though it's blown again, it's bloody freezing. There's the tower. Ready ho. I'm moving a little further on. I'm gonna go back down that way shortly because I want to get to uh, the Von Fairy bit. But a big one is, which I have been on. Remember when it was first built and I came down just to ride it and it was magnificent over too quickly for my liking but it's a great ride as rides go Harry Ramsden's 1891 right now down the back streets or just off the frontier it's very 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 run down Oh, we're going to see that in a little bit. The car's actually parked around the back of some hotel and it's, oh, it's a bloody mess. Absolute mess. Blackpool Amusements. A couple of these are open, but not very many. And the Winter Garden's down there. We'll be visiting there in a second. So, on we go. We can't get on the piers, they're shut. Bugger. And here in the pedestrianised part of Blackpool, it looks much nicer than the front. Liberal Club, Starbucks, just what you want. Now my guess is, judging by the architecture of this building, that used to be a Debenhams. I would say that was definitely a Debenhams. Anyway, heading towards Winter Gardens. Oh, and Summers. <laughs> Anyone want to see any Am Summer shop window? There you go. Naughty, very naughty. <laughs> Hounds Hill. Oh, little indoor shopping centre. Let's have a stroll through there. Let's see what it's like. The gift box. A couple of empty shops. Seems a lot nicer down here than anywhere else. Lovely little uh, canopies there. Hounds Hill Shopping Centre. Easy guys, easy, easy. Ooh. Cafe Nero, thank God there's one of them here. <laughs> Perfume shop. Mmm, nice. Sketches. I do love sketches footwear. It's very comfortable. Very comfortable indeed. Quite nice in here. Plus, we're out of the wind, so it's a bit more comfortable. And that's on the coastline, and every coastline is absolutely freezing cold. So, coming in here. There's a nice break from the wind. Build a bear. Oh, build a bear. 
build a bear. Hi, mate. See the size of that bear in there? Nah, not as big as the AO Teddy. Match up. Three. Primark. Food court upstairs. Dykeman. Dykeman. Extortionary price. Oh no. All items 50% off. Original price. There you go. Sales everywhere you go. It is nice in here. I've never been here before. <laughs> Didn't know it existed. Then again, every time I've come to Blackpool, it's just been to go to the fun fair, like most people. Guy, customer hob. Oh, there's security. Let's see if he stops me from filming, huh? I doubt it. Very nice. Very nice, too. Don't know where the pie master is. Anyway, have another quick wander around here and then go back outside, get down towards the fun fair. Winter gardens made of tiles. How lovely is that? We're showing there now, Mamma Mia. Lovely, isn't it? Looks like they're retiling it there. <laughs> wow. Nice, Greg's. Oh, there you go, Greg's. Blackpool is saved. There's a Greg's. Thank God for that. What would any city or town be without a Greg's? It would be not worth visiting. Not worth visiting at all. And a plethora of seagulls. Not that bloody great wagon. This is not the place to eat your chips. Because they'll take more than you've got. Blackpool bargains. Beaver Brooks. Okay. Oh, there you go. Someone's feeding. Look at the size of these fellas. Oh, he's got a dicky foot. Oh, there's a scrap, there's a scrap. Nope. Oh, I haven't got anything. Giant seagull. Oi, pal. <laughs> there you go, fellas feeding them there. This <laughs> is keeping them away from kids with chips. <laughs> Bound bakery. Okay, we've got some weird, weird looking, I don't know whether they're lights or cameras, but looks like something that HG Wells invented. We've all seen War of the Worlds. It's happening right here in Blackpool now. I'm going. The chances of anything coming from Mars are a million to one, they said. <laughs> Tower. Nando's. Beauty Spot Warehouse. Oh. And here's the Grand Theatre in Blackpool. This is a fantastic building, and I'm sure you'd agree. Look the way the sun's bouncing off the side of it. That is proper pretty. Proper pretty. Come what May's showing at the moment. By the looks of it, the Grand Theatre, which is there. Rocky Horror Show's coming. How good's that? Do you want to go and see that? <laughs> Me neither. Martians. Loads and loads of Martians. Bloody hell. Outdoor B days. Not very private, but look at the church. 
Wow. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Right next door. Horrific. Beautiful. Now you quite clearly can't go in there. Must be some renovation going on. Which is a bloody shame because I'd so, so love to get in there and have a look around Blackpool Church. What a gorgeous building. Oh, fantastic, man. Why most of them around here? Look at that. It's only spoiled by that red brick facade behind it. I don't know what it is. But this is the nice, nicest part of Blackpool I've seen yet. Business is open as normal, except for the church. What a shame. Look at the windows. Lovely man, lovely. And this strange bit of art. Someone hanging upside down on a metal wall. Something about it. I want to go in that church. How rotten is that? Didn't like the uh, outside B-days there. Just well, too impersonal. What is this? Oh, it's a sur I think it's a surfer. I don't know. Let's have a look, eh? Diver? Aqualady? I guess it's as good as mine. Absolutely no idea. But it looks nice. <laughs> okay. Onward. We go. What are these? Look, look, look at these. Sorry. Okay, well, no worries. What's this? Solid. It's solid. Good lord, man. Very nice. Used to make very, very smaller versions of these when I was a kid with a, a little kit called Plasticraft. Don't know whether anyone remembers Plasticraft. You can make little key rings and things, and it was, it was a plastic resin. You could put things inside it. And once it was set, it would end up like that. Wow. This church is phenomenal. It's big enough to be a bloody cathedral, that then a church. Bye, master. Hip hop chicken. Okay, sees over that way. So I'm gonna have to go back in that direction because the car is parked somewhere off one of the back streets down there. I don't know where it is. <laughs> So my time, might take some time finding your car again. <laughs> parts it near a pie shop. <laughs> oh, I want to get in. Never mind. Hmm. It's the stone's throw from the tower. Here's where your bed and breakfasts are. Need a decorating. Ah, oh, that's why it's not decorated, it's shut. Oh, someone's in there by the looks of it. <laughs> Made their way in. Vacancies. There you go. What I like about these old places is the bit down there. There's even a door there. Nice little sun terrace. On the other side of the road, it's all the winter gardens. The Orbiston, that looks pretty posh. Private hotel. Boomerang Blackpool. So called because you'll come back again and again. See what I did there? Yeah. <laughs> Melville Hotel. A Caesar once stayed. I can't believe 
No, it's unfortunate. Adelaide House looks pretty nice. All rooms en suite. Yep, I could stay there. I could stay there. Three star, wow. Takeaway food of any description are not allowed in the foyer or lounges. Which is fair. Backpackers. Blackpool.com. Now, I can only imagine that is very, very cheap. And no vacancies. A lot of construction work. Right, we're making our way back to the front again now. Pretty run down in this area, very run down. Is that an actual pigeon up there or, or a statue? I don't know. Oh, it's an ornament. <laughs> Thought it was real, it's not. <laughs> and it's for sale. So if you want to splash the cash, get a little B&B &B in the heart of Blackpool. Well, you're right near the sea. I think, I think we're lost. God only knows what that is. But it's ugly. Very ugly. Well, there's no shortage of hotels and B&Bs. Don't know how many of them are actually still open. I know a lot will close during the uh, winter period. On account of nobody being in, coming here and visiting here. There's plenty of them. Right the way down here. If you go right there, there's a ton more. So yeah, there's plenty of places to stay. But it all looks very, very run down. Very run down. And I was speaking to the barmaid in Weatherspoons, who's lived here all her life. And she said she's seen a dramatic change in Blackpool since she was born and uh, how run down has become they're not putting any money into the, the city at all and I know they rely heavily on tourism but there aren't there any places that you'd want to stay let alone can stay so it's pretty much in decline like most places the rock shop Ellen House Hotel that one oh dear very sad. But if you want a night out, I suppose, and a weekend on the uh, Lash, this would be one fantastic place to come because there's no end of eateries and pubs. Pie Master's off on one there. Right now, we're going to go and try and find the car and get a bit closer to the fun fairy bit where the big one is. Okay, let's go. Here's Blackpool's water park. Never been in there. And directly opposite. How's that for crazy golf? Adventure golf. That looks bloody awesome, that does. <laughs> and the Pleasure Beach is right next door. I'll walk down there in a minute. But there you go. Now, I can imagine this summertime, well, I think everybody knows this place is absolutely packed. All the major hotels are on this strip, on the right hand side, and there's plenty of them, plenty of them to choose from. And there's even a travel lodge, you want something a tad cheaper. White Tower Restaurant, WG Beans, sorry about the sun, the glare, I'll get closer to the uh, fun park, so I can get the sun behind me. But there you have it. Good old Blackpool. And it also appears to have warmed up a bit. So, yeah, but it's, it's still very, very windy. Which is a bloody shame because I was just aching to fly my drone around here. But uh, it's not going to happen, unfortunately. So, there we go. Big Blue Hotel, very aptly named, or should it be the Big Blue and Cream? There is the big one. 
I've been on that and it is as scary as it looks but fortunately the ride's over really really quickly so you're out of there before you uh, poo your pants fairly opposite there's a hotel undergoing massive renovation by the looks of it and it will be as spectacular as the one next door when it's done I'm quite sure of that but um, the big one it's a great bit of kit that <laughs> Did you ride it? I was an awful lot young when I did. I certainly wouldn't do it now. Everything's closer, fortunately, otherwise I'd be in there and on it. No, I wouldn't. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this ride is the old Grand National. I think it is. You can see the majority of it is wood. Now, I've definitely been on that back in the day. It's still a favourite ride with a lot of people because it's nowhere near as scary as the big one or various other rides in there. But right at the end here... Now I'm hoping or thinking this wooden one at the end was what they used to call the Wild Mouse. Uh, it's only a small ride but my god it was scary because the, the, the turns were so tight. I remember the first time I went on there and it scared me to bloody death. Can you see me for the glare of the sun? Yeah, it was a, it was a really frightening ride to go on. Long before uh, the big one was erected in various other top quality rides. And look at that. I wouldn't have the guts to ride on that now. But tucked away on the corner here. I'm sure it's the wild mouse. I don't know whether it's still running or not. I can only imagine for health and safety reasons it probably isn't. But look at the age of that. Look at the age of that. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't get me up on you wouldn't get me on that ride now. Hot ice show. Nice. Yeah, don't think that's running anymore. Or is that the Grand National? No, that's the Grand National. It says there they're off so that's the Grand National oh don't know where the wild mouse is then but I won't be going on it anyway that was Blackpool what a lovely place I hope you enjoyed that tour uh, this was especially for Craig Hilliard who I work with I've not been to Blackpool for a long time and he wanted to see what it was like now you've seen are you going to come down here you probably will, won't you? <laughs> okay, so Mattman signing off. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Give me a thumbs up. And I'm off home to get something to drink. Alcoholic, that is. Take care, all. Bye-bye now.